one student in. We'll see if more join, but uh, okay. this way I can just. We're a little early. Yeah, I can send them the video if, uh, yeah. Okay, so do you want to start or? Yeah, I think we go ahead and start. Not okay. Not record and then, yeah. So can you give me permission to um, share or are we good? Uh, I, I, um, Let me see. I'm not sure I if I know how to do that. Um, I might be okay. Let me see. Oh, I closed my. I was like, why is my form not showing? Okay. Accidentally closed it. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start the video, um, which is the beginning of what we do. And then that way, while it's showing, I can pull up my. No, but we don't waste time. Oh, very good. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So this is this kind of just goes through and it shows you what the enrollment process is as far as filling out the application and then it'll kind of show you what the process is as far as adding a class because they've changed kind of the um, the website and so mm -hmm. it's a bit different so it's only like two minutes okay
So it's pretty easy, but there's a mm -hmm. couple, of, couple of things that I'll go back and tell you. So if a student has not had any classes from friends, then they need to go back to the website and make sure that they fill out that application piece. Right. Make sure that they fill it out, not their parent, because what happens, what, what we have had happen more than once is that a parent will enroll themselves, especially if they do um, autofill. And so the parent will enroll and they can't figure out why it's not showing up. Um, right. But it's because the parent is enrolled. And if the parent has ever taken any classes from friends, it will trigger with their email. So that's yeah. the other piece. So um, then they go to the self-service banner. So on our when, once they go to our friends website, they can click on student and then click on self-service. And then that takes them to, uh, to the spot that looks like this, student yeah. self-service. And that's where they're going to be. So that student self-service place is where they're going to be able to get their, where they're going to register for classes, where they can get transcripts and where they can make all their payments. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be their um, login that they get from us, not their own personal login. So this is not the one, not their email. It'll be the friends one. And that'll yeah. come in an email once they have their application in. Then they're going to register, click register. And then when they pull this up, there will only be a spring and summer that are available to them right now. Yeah. Um, the thing that I want here for them to really remember is that when they put that five digit number in, they should immediately see when they hit summary, they should see their class right there. If yeah. they don't see that class or if that class is wrong, um, I want them to immediately let me know so that we can make sure that they have the right CRN. And then I want them to also know that when they go to this page that looks like this, once they have registered um, their classes, they should be able to see them down at the bottom like that one is. And they should see all the classes that they're registered for. If they don't see a class there, then that um, is they didn't register in that class. And so, right. um, you know, if you don't register, if you don't do it is self registration and self enrollment. And so they must 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 make sure that they're doing that piece. Um, the other piece that I will show you is um, just our date. And I just sent you um, a link to a OneDrive, and so it should have this in there. Okay. And so it just tells that it's $70 a credit hour. Um, so there's there 210. It reminds me this <clears throat> self enrollment reminds them that um, registration actually opens tomorrow and it'll go until the 10th. So they've got a little right right at, under a week, right at a week um, to do that. So it'll open on the 4th and close on the 10th. And the registrar, as soon as the registrar has that, the CRN numbers, I'll be shooting them over to you. I think the biggest thing with your kiddos is making sure that they're enrolled in the right class because sometimes they just like, they see all these, they see the classes and they just enroll in both of them and they may not be in both of them. Right, right. So, so be the to, big find, to find the CRN, where, I will where send it to you. You sent that to me? Yeah, I haven't okay. yet because I don't have them yet, but as soon as okay. I get them, I will send them. So, um, I the big thing is not to go out and try to search for them because what they search for will actually be um, for our regular regular students, not for them. And right. so I will, um, I sent you a link to a Google Drive or to a OneDrive rather. And that in that OneDrive is the video that I just showed you. It's also the page that I just showed you. And as soon as the CRNs are available, they'll be in there as well. Okay. And it'll have, you know, each one for each class. All right. Great that makes sense yes and I, and the video should be I, I haven't went back to look um because there was some they were updating our website yesterday but that video should also be in that dual credit area on our website if for whatever reason you know because sometimes sending videos is hard but um that if they go to the website they can watch that video okay i i, I just signed up for uh, a workshop the the way you just showed it so <laughs> okay uh, yeah, yeah, I'm taking one right now. So uh, that all looks familiar. So I should be able to help them too. So awesomeness. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other questions? I think that's it. Uh, Brianna Bailey, any questions?
Doesn't look like it. They're like, no, we're good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, here's Brian. No. Okay. No. Like, I'm good. No. Awesome. Thank you, ladies, for joining us. It was nice to see your face finally. I, you know, I know. been corresponding for years now. So, right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay. All right. Take care and let me know if you have any questions or if you have any uh, situations that pop up. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.